Hello there, I'm in my living room, no traveling today. Today, I'm actually traveling to my home to, to do some DIY. Basically, uh, for the longest time, I've actually not had anywhere to put toilet paper, towels. My bathrooms came with zero storage in the slightest, like even those things, wild. So I just recently got some uh, cheap stuff on Amazon uh, to DIY myself, drill into the wall, put them all in, actually give places to hang some linens, great. Also, I don't have any way of storing any coats or anything like that, so I got two hooks to put on the wall over that way. That should be good. Also, if you can believe it, we're gonna go this way. I actually just recently got some paints in, and my goal is essentially to paint the entire house. I know that might sound crazy, but this is just a very standard new build white thing. It's like deluxe. It's just bland. There's nothing really to it. It's just kind of there. The whole wall, uh, the whole house is basically the same exact color. And so my thought was, I d I've done a lot of research. I've read some books on interior design. I've chosen a few paints and I'm going to paint some swatches around and see how the light plays. Also, my bedroom, the actual goal long term is to do some sort of geometric slatted wall. I'd love that. That seems like such an insane amount of effort with tools I don't yet have. So. We'll see how that comes along, but I also want the back wall in there to be green. Either way, very exciting. Let's get started with some DIY. Everything in the house I've put up so far, I've, I realized a bit late, is Evan height. So like, for the, like the mirror, I did it so that I could see myself before I walked out. And then I realized that no one else that really enters can, can use the mirror. That's fine, tall people only. Uh, this coat rack, Primarily for me, it's also not a rack. It's more like a statement piece for like maybe my hat or something like that. There'll also be a different coat rack in that corner. I found a really slim corner one that just would hang up on the wall, but it hasn't arrived yet. So that's roughly the height of where I want it. It's silly because I'm like putting this up on the wall and I do plan on painting it in the next month. So I'm gonna have to take everything off, but ow. <coughs> I don't know how long it's actually gonna take me to paint things. Knowing me and the amount of stuff that I'm trying to do, I will never have anything on any walls. So I'd rather just get things done and then take it all down and do it again. You know? I got hot, I took off my jumper. You might've thought, wow, it's only been like, what, a minute? I I've been measuring these little spots on the wall for about an hour. <laughs> Listen, I am just so scared of making mistakes. Uh, we I've tried putting that mirror up and it took so long. It was like drilling seven times. And we even measured a lot of time. All right, so we're using the six millimeter drill bit because that's what was recommended. Thank God they came with the fittings. I have some fittings, but I'd, I'd much prefer when the packages give me everything. So that way I just don't have to, and it's one less thing I have to worry about. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The moment of truth. Um, it's definitely to the left. <laughs> Fuck. All right, moment of truth. I have unscrewed and screwed these back in multiple times and I've hammered back in the bit to make sure it was further in there, the wall fitting, whatever it's called. All right. Let us see. Uh, it's flush. We've got it. Hello, welcome to a toilet. That's not bad, that's not bad. Now I just have to do it for another one here. Let's hang up the hat. Ta-da! It's on straight, it's looking very nice. Uh, I would do some zooms, but as you know, my zoom lens doesn't focus anymore. I have to get it fixed, and I'm trying to get that fixed. Whoa, all right, so I got a little bit stressed with the last one, not gonna lie had to redo it so many times and even now it it works because like one screw is going like this and the other one's like this and it kind of works i'll repaint that area anyway so all my pencil marks that i could barely erase are gone but this one is going to be one of my favorites i'm so excited to actually have a place to put toilet paper i made a reference to this in like my first video from this house and i'm finally gonna be able to solve this problem so i found this one i think this looks really nice it's matte black matches the other uh, things that i've got but what's great is there's there's little holes there's holes, guys. I can just draw the exact mark with the pencil through the hole. I think there, there needs to be some sort of solution, some sort of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invent something. So free, free, feel free to take the idea. Okay, wherever the back of a thing is where you're supposed to like put the holes, there needs to be a product, like some sort of um, inky putty you can just put in those spots. So when you go, leaves a mark. So yeah, I don't, don't have to worry about missing it up, all right? Take it, run with it, give me 1%. Thank you. So the type of person I am, uh, as soon as I went into this, I went, you know what? After all that faff, I'm not gonna care as much about this. I'm just gonna put them all up and not measure like the height from the floor. And then I went, no, 
That's not me. So I quickly Googled, what's the ideal height for a toilet paper holder? That's right. It's supposedly 26 inches. Listen, y'all, I am so proud of that. Look at him. He's level. I'm, I'm so happy. I actually got him to be perfectly level. Yay. The, the little things, guys. The little things. I really don't know why I didn't film from the beginning of this. I guess I was just so into it, I forgot. Uh, so I bought some paints to try to paint the whole house in the future, but I've been really theme here. Been really anxious about like, oh, what if it's the wrong tone? What if it doesn't match? I can't, I have to paint like a swatch and then move it around. I just put it on the wall and it felt really freeing. I felt like all of this like uh, anxiety in my head about like, oh, it'll look bad. Then you have to paint over the whole thing. It's fine. Honestly, it's like such a subtle difference and it's such a nice soft white. I enjoy it so much. I painted some over there. I'm going to show you soon. And also I had an electrician in who basically put these giant holes in my wall so that I could have the uh, lighting up here. And he left them. And then I got plaster, uh, put that in, and there were giant, uh, you can actually see over here, I think, um, you can see a little bit leftover of the color of the uh, polyfilla. And so, I, it's not the same color paint as the wall, which is like a standard new build Dulux, but I'm just painting over with it, and it's really just, good to just do this to uh it feels really freeing like i said just just paint no stress luckily uh, i mean ideally i would have some sort of ladder you know that'd be nice but i don't i have two long legs so there we go it doesn't have to be perfect evan it just especially because i plan on painting the whole thing again just want to cover it up and now that looks great i plan on painting this uh a nice matte black to go with everything else in the kitchen. So that'll be fun. But in the meantime, wow, that, that part's already dried. I can barely even tell. Very happy, very happy. Oh, well, it's now time for me to repot some plants. This pothos I've had for quite a very long time. It's been the background of so many videos just climbing down that ladder. And it's gotten so long now, look at this, just way too long that uh, this pot, look at this, it's, it's, the roots are just growing right out. So I've got this new pot here, should be a little bit extra there. I'm just gonna mix up some potting soil for him uh, in this spare pot. Basically what I'm going with is mostly some miracle Grow standard potting mix here, mixing that together. And because I know this guy really loves his aeration, we're gonna add quite a bit of perlite and just mix that up by hand. Very useful to have a bag of perlite on hand, gotta say. Give him some loving smacks. Next up on the itinerary of DIYing, I'm building a kitchen island. It's gonna look like this some, sometime. It's gonna be great. Right now we just have lots of pieces. Uh, I got it specifically to do some cooking videos on my main channel so I can just have a nice centered shot. So let's get building. Look at how far we have come. Look at him. Wow. This was, uh, John Lewis isn't that good at instructions, but we managed. All right, putting in some wheels. With this final step, we have made finally another drawer. I finally have storage. Huzzah! Look at him. He's so pretty. Okay, so today's plan, I just realized after painting some things with the white paint and how it felt really nice and it didn't really stress me out as much, I am thinking of doing this a light gray and also doing the backsplash of my kitchen a light gray so that it ties them together. It's, um, so it goes, the specific gray goes really well with the white I've chosen, I think. So, you know what? Why not just paint a little square here? I know that I can like get some plasterboard and like put it against the wall, but yeah, you know, it's my house and I'm, I'm trying to like relieve myself of the like, oh no, what if it messes up? It's my house, you know? I can make mistakes. If someone comes in and sees that I haven't done it yet and there's just a square of gray, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm testing out some paints. You know, like it's not that big a deal. In my brain, it's massive deal. I'm trying to basically counteract that. Dippity dippity. Look at that drippity. <laughs> I learned that you're only ever supposed to go the same direction. So that way, if when you're painting, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Supposedly, if you go up and down, left or right, it looks bad. So I've, I've learned that. Also, as you can see, I've really been going ham here uh, at different paints. I'm trying to hopefully have a paint that I really like. I, I've chosen this one. It's like a hail navy. Oh, it's close. I think I'm using this one for my bathroom. Uh, this one I didn't really like as much, but this right here and then on the backsplash. This is uh, what I'm going with here, the Beck Vame. 
pretty simple thing. Yeah, I would like to say I'm getting a little bit better at building this type of thing, but that's mostly because I'm starting to understand like why certain things go certain places by just studying them when they inevitably fail. When like this, I don't know if you can see this, Woo there he is, uh, this little uh, console, TV console table, his little springs and hinges will go out of whack and then I have to spend some time, almost like I'm in some sort of father cut scene in a film, just trying to tinker with it, figure out, okay, well, it stopped working. I'm not buying an entire other thing. I need to figure out how to fix this. And so it's really been the number one thing to increase my ability at doing this in general. Just taking the time to learn what each part of each thing does. So I know you're not really supposed to be using power tools on Ikea things. However, here's the thing. I feel like I know what I'm doing. This is really tight. It wants me to use this like crazy contraption. Look at this. No, no, no. Much faster. We'll turn it on the lowest speed. It's still pretty fast. Okay, pray for this little piece. Perfect. <laughs> I actually needed to turn this power up all the way because once it got in there, some of these just really, even at 16, he doesn't want to go in. So I actually have to do it the old fashioned way the way our ancestors would do it, by spinning a power drill. Essentially, like, it's now mid-April and I haven't even touched the video I did from St. Patty's Day. But, you know, live, you gotta live, you gotta live your life. Would you just look at this cutie? I love him. He's so perfect, I can now use him to step on and also house my plants. So, rather than have a uh, really boring looking balcony I don't want to use that's just great. Um, I've got some of these things that make it look like grass. I think that's gonna make it look nice. I should hope so. The avocado from a thousand years ago that I planted for my YouTube video, one of them. The other one died when I moved, sadly. Alright. All right, we're at the halfway mark. Hope you like what we've been doing with this so far. I, I wanted a little separate space, a little red brick here, which matches the little storage unit I just got from Ikea. Uh, and I'm gonna do this, but uh, like a, a yin yang type thing. So on the other side, it's gonna be mostly this nice warm brick with a small patch of grass and it swirls. This will be the plant side with the grass. The other side will be the human side with the chairs. Hey. Wow, I am really proud of myself, actually. I was a bit unsure about it at first, but oh my gosh, the, the warm brick is such a satisfying color, especially when paired with the green. I'm just really happy with this all turned out. I'm not quite finished though. I've got one more bit of DIY today, is to build a little bench the, to store stuff and to sit on uh, as extra bit of storage out here. Wow. I'm so excited. I mean, it's actually a nice day. It's like 18 degrees, but I'm excited for it to get even warmer. I can spend some time out in the balcony, have a nice cup of coffee in the morning. <sighs> nice. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This one was pretty easy. It's just a couple like slats and you hammer them together. I feel like I'm definitely uh, finding my groove here. And now look, we've got this lovely little place to hang out out here. And I built myself a new bit of seating with pillows. Lovely. When you're on this much of a DIY roll, you just don't want to stop, all right? I do not have anywhere to hang anyone's clothes except for those new two hooks, which I mostly put up as like nice, satisfying looking hanging thing for possibly just one of my things that matches. However, I'm now putting up a coat rack. There's no room really, but I found this really cool one right behind the camera here. Look at this. So this one is wall mounted, so that way it doesn't take up any space because this is in between two doors. And luckily, I've got this new laser, 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 laser measure here. Can't pronounce anything. Uh, so that way I can make sure your boy has got it right down the middle. So, I did it. Upside down. <laughs> you know what? This story has a happy ending. Because I was a little bit persistent and I just was really patient with it. It's not perfect, as you can see, but I have to take it off anyway to, like, paint this whole house. So... Does the job right now, and I've been pulling it pretty hard, and it's not coming down. I now have a place to hang guests' clothing. More than just the jackets. Also, look at this lovely atmosphere. I love it so much. These little lights I have as well. 
doing me wonders. All right, so my high board is now all set up and I'm trying to figure out the best way of displaying things in an aesthetically pleasing way, links to the rest of the room. I don't have too much stuff, which is a good thing I'd say. I just need to kind of fill out the display parts to make it look like it ties the whole place together a bit more. So up here is this nice photo that I've taken of some pancakes. Uh, as you notice, we have the uh, teal pitcher and the yellow butter tin, which matches uh, the entire aesthetic of the living room. Uh, I really love RuneScape, so I got these a while back, little plushies, um, three, and the softness of that texture coincides with this uh, Japanese cute little Pikachu I got uh, when I was in Tokyo. Um, some coffee table books, which I think look nice there. I need another type of book to lean against this way. So we have three, 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 and then some different things uh, for each of those little pockets there. Also, I really like that uh, this little pot here matches incredibly well with the aesthetic of the sideboard, uh, as does this plant's pot. So working on it. Uh, also the whole point, uh, this is a, a dark mixed with an oak which as well mixes with what I'm going to be doing over here, which is the black and the oak. And then I have three oak frames that are gonna be over here. So that way I am essentially having a bit of a motif going through this area of the house, uh, while also with the, the teal and yellow, uh, incorporating bits of the living room. Uh, and then as you can see over here, I've actually got, uh, obviously we have lots of boxes at the moment, uh, but I've got this runner, which is a rust and green, which is pushing you into a very messy room where it's meant to be also rust and green. Just have to do some painting. As you can see, we're a bit messy today. Just taking a little break to clean my windows. The real way, this is just dish soap. Just dish soap and water. And then I squeegee it off, because you know me, I love a good squeegee. There we go. Just make sure you cover all of it. There we go, good coverage. Put this back in my little paint pail. We'll grab this guy here. And look at this. Wow. Freaking perfect. I don't know why I never thought about this before. Hello, yes, I'm an adult. I'd like an award. Uh, how to clean your windows the right way. Well, if only I had been patient one more day. Finally got a new lens here on loan. This 1635 actually works. Swap out. Hopefully they can fix mine and we can swap, swap them back. But it's nice to be able to uh, shoot wide again. So I have this radiator. You know, everyone has radiators, but they ugly. And I've only just recently realized you can get things to solve this problem of ugly radiators, AKA a radiator cover. So I'm gonna be building this today. Evan, that seems like a really fickle uh, thing to get. Not really, because also over there, it, you know, it, it, the whole space is a bit off-centered. If you look, you can see that the mirror doesn't quite line up like with, with the radiator. However, you see, there's all, I got one so that it would it would go over all the way to the side and it also has a nice shelf. So now I have some storage space, a thing this uh, place severely lacks. So in the process of building this uh, radiator cover here, essentially I felt really negative. I was having such a, a bad time with it. As you can see, we have some fittings here. This is where it'll fit to the wall. Uh, these little spots, one, two, and three, but I have now just drilled my own little spot right there. Uh, and that's because here, the entire length is where the pipe is and I'm not drilling into a pipe. So I do my own thing. Yay, wow. I, I think I just missed the pipe by like a centimeter. It's ridiculous. All right, pretty proud of myself. Measured it really short at first, had a small amount uh, for the bit and then increased ever so slightly until the little wall fittings went right in. And now, just make sure that lines up perfectly. Really nice and flush to the wall. Woo. All right, check out my radiator cover. I've just recently done a little styling of it. I've added this pompous grass to add height, a little bit of a candle with a very like hard looking tone there, as you can see, but it contrasts nicely 
uh, with this one over here, which is a bit more modern. Uh, also, other little candles. I've got some little framed prints here, and of course, hey, it's me. Hello. Definitely adds just a really nice amount of display to my flat, and it'll be evolving. I don't really know if I really like everything here the way it is, but I'm gonna be like switching things out possibly. Uh, for instance, that pot I don't feel like necessarily fits. So, you know, it'll be growing and changing. It is literally May next week and I still have flannel sheets. It's time to transform my bedroom. And look at that. The bedroom is nearly complete. New bedding looking amazing. Lovely linens, chunky knit throw. And as you can see, we've got the nice green tying in with this, this and the naturalness. We'll have this wall be green. We have the rust orange pillows that matches with the plant pot and the leather seat in the corner. Also, of course, we've got right here. Uh, this is my where I keep my dirty clothes and whatnot. We've got a nice orange and a green to tie everything in. Hey, look, that's me. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I put up some prints recently. I've got this from my old place, which is a map of my uh, old neighborhood where I grew up. We've got Firefall from Yosemite. We got Joshua Tree, another Yosemite, which I'm pretty happy with. Overall, very happy with how my room is now looking. It looks like a lovely place to live. I'm very happy with it. And as you can see, I've just shaven. Hada! Didn't expect that, did you? But look, that, that's me. I'm, I'm a shaven man. So thank you for uh, catching up on the DIY. Uh, the biggest DIY I've got coming up now is going to be painting this wall, making it board and batten. It'll be a nice fun time, so um, stay tuned for that. I just came back from a big trip I'm not really allowed to talk much about, but it'll <laughs> it'll be up in November when I'm allowed to talk about it. It'll be really exciting. So thanks for uh, staying in touch, and uh, hopefully I'll see you around here next time, whether that be traveling, DIYing, or I don't know, just whinging, whatever I want to. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.